Super dry, red, cracked, flaky, peely hands. That is my number one skincare question this week and I'm gonna help us deal with that in this video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Skincare with Chris Gibson. If you're new, I'm Chris. I'm your skincare expert and I'm here to help you get your best skin ever. And on this channel, we talk about skincare products, routines, problems, and today it is those dry, red, flaky, peely hands. And so if that's your thing, please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so that you get notified when my new videos are up each week. Well, hey guys, I just wanted to create a video today for you specifically for dry hands. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about, actually it's the number one question I'm getting right now about what to do about my hands because with all this stuff that's going on, we're having to wash our hands all the time. CDC says 20 seconds minimum. Most of us are probably doing way more than that just to be careful. And then of course, hand sanitizer, which we're having to use hand sanitizers that are like 60% alcohol. So of course, that's gonna dry out your skin. I mean, the skin on your hands doesn't even have hardly any oil gland. So there's really no way for our body to replenish the oil and moisture in our hands. Just not gonna happen, SOL, not even close. So what I wanna do today or accomplish is to give you some tips that you can use right away that will help you keep your hands from drying completely out where they're so painful you just wanna chop them off. So the first thing that I wanna share with you is when you wash your hands and you go to dry them, you don't wanna dry them by rubbing them with a towel like most people do, like I used to do. You wanna just pat the excess moisture off and leave your hands damp. That way you can apply a moisturizer and you need a specific kind of moisturizer for this purpose, you need one that is occlusive. In other words, it has oils and emollients in it that will help trap that late moisture down in the skin and protect it, kind of seal it in there so that it moistens the skin of your hands up. Again, your hands don't really have enough oil glands to moisten themselves back up. So this is really important to use the right kind of moisturizer. A body moisturizing lotion or a facial moisturizer is not gonna work well because they're not really formulated to work the way that these hand creams are. There are specific creams on the market like Aveeno hand cream and then Kiehl's has a hand salve that are very, very good full of oils and emollients to help trap that moisture in the skin. You don't wanna go using a really expensive $50 an ounce facial moisturizer on your skin every time that you wash your hands because if you're a guy, your wife or your girlfriend's going to kill you and no one wants to spend that kind of money and it's not gonna work well anyway because these type of products are not formulated in a way to help your hands the way that these hand creams will be able to do. Now, an important tip to remember is no matter which product that you use, you wanna to try to take that product with you wherever you go. So save one of your empty little hand sanitizer bottles, fill it up with the hand cream so that after you use the hand sanitizer, you can apply that moisture cream right away. It's not gonna change anything as far as the efficacy of the hand sanitizer because the hand sanitizer's already worked and killed all the germs. Now, if you have really severely dry, chapped, or cracked hands, there is a product on the market called O'Keefe's Working Hands, which is excellent. It's a really heavy, oily cream that you can use. It will really help heal your skin very, very quickly and will help protect it from the elements, especially all this washing and hand sanitizer. There's also a doctor recommended treatment, one that I used to use when I lived up north in the severe winter time. I used to get really dry, really dry skin. And that is to use petroleum jelly or Vaseline on the skin, on your hands, and then put them in rubber gloves and leave the rubber gloves on for several hours. Overnight is better, that's what I used to do. It works extremely well. One tip, do one hand at a time. Or Now another thing we don't often think about when we have these dry skin issues is looking at the type of soap that we're using and you wanna use a mild hand soap. Use one that is creamy, glycerin and water based. It would be just as effective as all these harsh soaps. Don't be using dish soap and cleansers uh, to scrub your hands clean. You don't need to do that, just a really mild, gentle, so if you're gonna use a dish soap for this purpose, Dawn dishwashing liquid, the one with the little duck on it, which is designed and formulated to remove tar and oil from animals. It's very safe and non-toxic to use. That will be very gentle on your hands. Things get really messy really fast. Another tip is to make sure that you stay well hydrated so that your skin does have somewhat of a chance to moisturize itself. But again, but again with your hands, there aren't a lot of oil glands, so you're gonna have to use these extra products in order to moisturize. And this is gonna help you fend off colds and flu and do all the things you need to do right now without wanting to cut your hands off. 
Now, I hope you found these tips in the video today helpful to keep your hands in good shape while we go through this period of where we have to wash them every five seconds and use all this hand sanitizer. Please tell me in the comments below what your top skincare concerns are, because if I haven't made a video on them yet, I probably will. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Stay well, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you over on the next video.